some of the limitations, like the 50% attack? Yeah, the, 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 so first of all, the 50% attack limitations are far less than people make it out to be. There's a lot, even if you just take to over. To be fair, I mean, if, yeah. if, just to explain it, like the 50% attack means that if you control more than 50% of the nodes in the Bitcoin network, then right. you can destroy the currency. There's still not a lot you can do. You can't destroy the currency. Or you can't destroy yeah. the currency. You can, you can reject future transactions, but okay. you can't go back and change past transactions. And your incentives at that point are actually more to just mine more Bitcoin and make money for yourself rather than to destroy it. Right. So there's a, there's a lot of, I mean, it's a very complicated topic. You cannot get educated in Bitcoin listening to this panel. <laughs> like, if you're starting here, you know, try something else. Go, go read Bitcoin for Dummies. But take the time. Because if you were in 1995, you didn't understand how TCP IP worked or how the World Web yeah. was going to work, you were really missing out. Take the time. Yeah, the other thing is that with respect to the 51% attack, that would lead to a fork in the blockchain and effectively like multiple currencies kind of coexisting, which should potentially have some exchange rate. Uh, you could imagine China, you know, at some point in 2016, and Bitcoin has, you know, risen exponentially, and they decide that they're going to mm -hmm. turn a significant fraction of their semiconductor manufacturing over to, you know, controlling, you know, a lot of mining capability. That's a possibility. But in terms of, you know, the son of Bitcoin, like mm -hmm. Bitcoin 2.0, that could, you know, replace it. I actually think that it's going to be augmentations to Bitcoin. Right. Um, if you think about it, HTTP is actually a stateless protocol, but we've built all this stateful stuff on top of it, like, you know, cookies, and then eventually like web apps. And, and, and whatnot, so you don't actually think about that. Mm -hmm. uh, you can actually go and log in, and people uh, have, have built all the stateful stuff on top of it. In the same way with Bitcoin, there's a, a, a few different things that people are working on now. One of them would be one of the most technological, you know, important developments since Bitcoin itself, which is something called Zerocoin. Uh, Zerocoin basically turns Bitcoin into a truly anonymous currency, where uh, there's it basically turns the entire network into a mixer. So you can teleport arbitrary amounts of money anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and right now, that's not a practical patch, but eventually something like that will probably be incorporated into the blockchain, and that will be sort of to what we call Bitcoin 1.0, what you know, BitTorrent was to Napster. Yeah, I mean, one, one thing that I hear um, a lot from investors is that Bitcoin is gonna be, it's a binary outcome. It's either gonna be worth a lot or it's gonna be worth nothing. Yeah, that's so right, because money, money is the ultimate network effect. So <laughs> either it works and goes to infinity or it goes to zero. I don't, th I don't think the intermediate outcomes matter. Yeah. So in that sense, asking someone today, have you made money in your Bitcoin? They've only made money if they've sold it, if they've cashed yeah. out. If they're still holding on to it. <laughs> it's, like, it's like buying a, a hyper volatile option on a startup stock. So what are, the, what are the risk factors for you that you're looking, thinking about personally? I, mean, I think the biggest one is regulatory and government risk. Um, yeah. I think there is some small uh, decryption, uh, encryption risk if it turns out there's a backdoor in RipeMD or in uh, uh, you know, one of the protocols used underneath. Uh, but I think the main one is essentially just the adoption curve. How long will it take to adopt? Because network effects need a tipping point. The established entrenched dogma of how money is supposed to work is very, very strong. That tipping point could be two years out, it could be 20 years out, it could be 200 years out. Yeah. That's the hard part. Yeah. Speaking of